Hello everybody, this is Scott from Vantage Optics. We're going to go over uh, a couple topics here regarding uh, the original conversion from um, the conversion from original seal beam lights to um, the newer style composite and uh, the components it takes to do it and how to do it. So this is the original setup that you would have in your car if you have a seal beam headlight and it would sit in your header panel in this void here and in order to do this swap, you'll remove this. There's a couple of springs. There's a bunch of hardware that go in each one of these. There's a hole here, 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 here. Remove all that stuff so it looks bare, just like this. There's nothing there. Um, no more modifications are needed on this one. Um, and you'll set all that stuff aside. You won't need any of it. If you are doing the conversion, you will need the seal beam conversion kit that we offer. It's a free upgrade. And if you're not sure if you need it, off, you know, buy it, get it. It's free, so there's no harm there. It does come with, uh, this is only one side right now, but it comes with the mounting slides and an adapter from the 9007 uh, plug that we use for our relay harness to the factory plug um, that mimics what would have been on your uh, your seal beam light there, right? So, um, so it, the way that these things work, there's obviously, this is just one side, so there's two sets of slides, four total. There's an inner and an outer, and they are uh, pretty easy to tall apart. The inner is short and only has one uh, guillotine mount. The outer is longer and has two. So they're really easy to install. When you're looking at your header panel, now from the top down, there are these slots right here. Maybe a tiny bit hard to tell. Stick it in that slot and push down. A little challenging one-handed push down until they click right and you can see here that now the bottom is lined up that hole is open when you snap this down it it has a reduced diameter here that's on purpose that's what actually mounts the headlight and when you pull this up there's a little tab up here very gently push this back and pull it up and you overcome the tab and if you get this lined up right Again, it's very, you know, the whole pin can go in here. I'll show you what that looks like. But, so we'll do the same thing on the outside. This is the outboard side. There's a hole, there's a slot. You stick it in there and you simply push it down until the holes line up. There is a catch right here. It's a, it's a, a tab. That's your, that's your limit. So you shouldn't be able to pull it out any more than that tab. When that tab's, when it's all the way pulled up, both of these holes here, sorry, both of these holes should be aligned and you should be able to install the headlight. So with that said and done, the back side of the headlight, this set is not complete. Um, so the lens is a little bit, it's not all the way seated, but you get the idea here. The mounts, um, each one of those slides connects into these. There's a groove in each one of these, uh, the mounts here, all three of them. And so what we want to do is um, let's set the camera down here so we can see what we're doing. You want to align those mounts with the adjuster, uh, the inboard adjuster vertical. Not they, they ship along the bottom, twist it around, put it vertical. And then you'll take your headlight, you'll make all of your connections. Of course, this is after everything's wired. And then you'll put each one of these pin holes here into its corresponding slot. The top one here needs to be, of course, they're normally a lot more solid than this. This is an example. Um, it needs to be oriented parallel, the top's parallel to the top here, not um, like this, right? no, not a single point. That'll make sense as it guides into two tangs up in here. And then simply put these things, guide them into their hole here, all three of them. And once it's in, hold it nice and flat and then simply push down on the slides until they click. Now, I'll be very honest, that's in this video is a lot easier said, or a lot easier done than when most people will experience. However, what you can do to alleviate that issue is you can use uh, a setup here that I'm grabbing behind the camera, like this. So like a long set of needle nose, anything like this. And what you'll do is you'll hold the top like this, 
and you can gently tap it with like a rubber mallet or a hammer or something, you're hitting your tool, not the sheet metal. And you're, you're, what you're doing is you're overcoming uh, the guillotine, um, sorry, the guillotine sliding onto the, the pin like this. And what that does is it's the, the, the metal piece is cutting into the headlight pin on purpose so that it fits nicely. Um, and this is also the reason this right here, see this slop right here? This is the reason why you want to use the OEM upper pin if you can do it. If you're switching from the sealed beam lights, there isn't too many options. We always try and ship the nicest ones. However, that's a tiny bit of play here isn't, isn't the end of the world by any stretch. So that's how that looks. And you can see when it's all said and done here, um, you have all, you'll have all your hardware removed from the seal beams. You don't have to remove these. It's not necessary, but um, it, uh, it works. But you can see here the, the pin has gone through and the, the slide is down now and pierced it on both upper, lower here and upper. And same with the, uh, the inboard one here. Now, once you get it to this point, on all of the headlight assemblies like these, you'll need to adjust them. And that can be done with the four millimeter uh, tool that we sell. This is nothing more than a, a spinning handle and a, and a socket. Um, and you simply put it on to the two different adjusting points. This outboard one here is vertical adjustment. The inboard one here is lateral. So as you can see here, when I turn this one, if you turn it clockwise from the front of the car, you're pushing the headlight in, which raises it up. When you, when you loosen it, so to speak, or you go left and go counterclockwise, you are lowering the vertical adjustment on the headlight. So that's how you set the vertical adjustment. The horizontal or lateral adjustment here, same principle. As you turn it in to the right clockwise, it'll pull the headlight out. And as you turn it counterclockwise, it'll pull the headlight in. The goal for all of this is to have the headlight project straight out from the front of the light. So there's very, there should be very little adjustment done here. Most of your adjustment's gonna be vertical to make sure the two beam patterns line up with each other. But overall, this is how it should look. And there should be, uh, there shouldn't be too many struggles uh, with that. If there are, please call. Please email, do something, but this is how it's uh, this is how it's supposed to be, and this is why you need to if you're switching from the sealed beam kit, this is why you need to um, uh, select the conversion kit. Is you won't have these parts um, in the harness if you don't if you don't tell us you don't tell me that you need it. Um, we're sending it as if you had these lights originally, which you would have these components from the factory. So hopefully this clears some stuff up. Um, uh, questions or comments let me know but this this should uh, th this should help out a bit thanks